e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I've got 23 campaigns to share with you today, so let's get started. The Burly Girls Printable and Resin Cast Statues by Red Piano Miniatures of the United States, their third Kickstarter campaign. The set includes six different 75mm fantasy and sci fi minis, not all female as the title suggests. Digitally, you can get the whole set, and physically, you can get from 1 to 6. This campaign ends on February 28th, with rewards expected in March or July. Frost Phoenix, a sculptural dice tower cast in resin by Miniature Evolution of Germany, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is one object with three swirling frost phoenixes. It's available in plain grey, ice blue, or one of several limited edition rainbow palettes. This campaign ends on March 3rd, with rewards expected in August. Yarns of the Elderwoods, resin cast statues by Aquilary Models of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes five different 75mm models based on mythological characters as well as two busts. You can get any of the five individually, all together, or just the busts. This campaign ends on March 6th with rewards expected in September. Sports Time Printable Minis by RN Studio of Spain their 13th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 8 different sculpts of women playing sports. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license, as well as access to previous content. This campaign ends on March 7th, with rewards expected the same month. Arctic Camp Printable Minis and Terrain by Juan Lerma of Mexico, their 19th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a bunch of different Arctic themed animals, characters, and buildings. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 8th, with rewards expected in April. Brood of the Spider Queen Printable Minis by Foxcraft Creations of New Zealand, their 13th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 6 spiders in 4 different sizes, 1 tier for the whole set. This campaign ends on March 9th, with rewards expected in April. Marines vs Insectoids Printable Minis by Cosmondo of Spain their 7th Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets, Modular Marines with a Humvee and Modular Insectoid Aliens. You can get either set individually or both together, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 9th, with rewards expected the same month. Stylized Middle Ages Part 3 Printable Scenery by Oksana Klingel of Germany, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes quite a few different buildings with textured interiors and a few bits of scatter terrain. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous contents. This campaign ends on March 10th, with rewards expected in April. High Elves vs Dwarves, printable minis by The Master Forge of Germany, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is two full armies. On top of troop and elite choices, the dwarves have cannons and griffin riders, and the high elves have ballistas and eagle riders. You can get either set individually or both together, and you can also get a commercial license as well as access to previous content. This campaign ends on March 15th, with rewards expected in April.
Path to El Dorado, the Forsaken Temple, printable terrain by Loons Dargent Workshop of Canada, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes more than 50 open lot compatible tiles for Mesoamerican temples or dungeons. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous content. This campaign ends on March 15th, with rewards expected in April. Fantasy Commander, boxed game with resin cast minis by Legends of Signum of Ukraine, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This box set includes two armies, the Styx Undead Empire and Empire of Iron Nest, with more than 50 minis in total. You can get the basic box, and there are also collector's editions with additional minis. This campaign ends on March 18th, with rewards expected in November. The Tower of Androcles Printable Minis and Tower by Ziggurat 3D Studio of France, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two characters and a multi-floor tower with a textured interior. You can get any of the three individually or all together, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 19th, with rewards expected the same month. Sailing Ship Printable Boat by Wavelength Studio of Canada, their first Kickstarter campaign. This boat comes with a flat bottom version or with the full hull and stands. You can get just the flat bottom version or boat with optional personalized nameplate, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 19th with rewards expected the same month. Werewolves vs. Werebats Printable minis by Mason's Miniatures of the Netherlands, their third Kickstarter campaign. As well as Werewolves and Werebats, this set also contains a pretty strong contingent of vampires. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 19th, with rewards expected in April. Saharan Militia, printable and pre-printed minis by Miska Miniatures of France, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes several different troop choices plus HQ and a truck mounted machine gun. Physically you can get the set in 20 or 28mm and digitally you can get the whole set and a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 20th with rewards expected the same month. Dwarven House, printable scenery by Quinn Zahosky of the United States, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is a stone cut dwarven house with a textured interior. Pay what you want for the house, pay a little more for a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 20th with rewards expected in April. Calper House. Printable scenery by Vulcania 3D Foundry of Belgium, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a house and barn, along with destroyed and collapsed versions. You can get just the complete house or house and barn, optionally with the other versions, or a commercial license and access to previous content. This campaign ends on March 21st, with rewards expected in April. Sylvan's Team and Cheerleaders, resin cast minis by Succubus Studio of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a full team of Sylvans, plus a couple cheerleaders from the Sylvans and a couple from a few other teams. You can get just the cheerleaders or the team of Sylvans with optional big guy, and you can also get other content. This campaign ends on March 22nd, with rewards expected in September. Fantasy House 2, printable scenery by Fantasy Designs of Canada, their second Kickstarter campaign. 
This is one multi-story fantasy house with a textured interior. You can get just the first floor, or first and second, as well as a commercial license and access to previous content. This campaign ends on March 24th, with rewards expected the same month. Wasabi Dragon Printable Dragon by Wasabi of Poland, their first Kickstarter campaign. This dragon comes in several sizes up to 200 millimeters and requires no supports for printing. You can get the dragon and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 24th with rewards expected the same month. War is Coming Reinforcements Plastic and Resin Cast Minis by Shield Wolf Miniatures of Greece their ninth Kickstarter campaign. These are retail boxes for War is Coming, including goblins, orcs, ogres, and several human factions, with multi-part plastic squads and resin characters. You can get starter sets in about five different sizes for each faction, as well as two-player starter sets. This campaign ends on March 24th, with rewards expected in July. Scythopian Wars, resin cast minis by Bloodforged Games of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. The set includes two factions for a tabletop skirmish game, the Asylumists and the Robots of the Confederation. You can get either faction individually or both together. This campaign ends on March 24th, with rewards expected in February of next year. Realm Nexus Campaign Tiles, Printable World Map by Tune Art Studios of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a hex tile world map system with point of interest inserts to increase the variability. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on March 25th, with rewards expected in June. That's all for now. Huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon, especially my newest top level patrons, Tune Art Studios, who made today's final campaign, and Nom Nom Figures. Their Patreon offers anime, video game, and movie characters, some of them in chibi format. Check back soon for another Kickstarter countdown. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and thanks for watching.